Deep learning is very powerful to model complex decision boundaries. And uh, se network security is a problem. And uh, right now, we are collecting data inside our uh, office and also uh, through uh, third-party vendors to gather labeled training data in the amount of gigabytes or even terabytes. And later, we feed them into our deep learning model, and then we can make the decisions. Deep learning was initially developed for either image processing or NLP, and you can find a lot of research and uh, industrial study on that. And using deep learning in network security is uh, really a new idea. So there is nothing as much for us to borrow directly. So we really need to like, kind of start from scratch to um, do our own research and to see how we can combine machine learning and network security together. In our case, you know, when we built a, a model that can try to detect threats, um, at some point this model um, can fail to detect novel threats. So I think that's one of the things that we try to innovate on. Like we, we need to, to know um, at which point does the thing that we're trying to detect changes enough so that we need to update um, sort of like our knowledge about the threat. We need to know when sort of like the object or the threat that we're trying to detect start to evolve beyond you know, our cap capability to detect. So that's, that's when we actually need to update the model. I guess the definition of unknown here is if, if you look at it from the lens of traditional um, solutions. Um, so if in, in the space of uh, sort of like malicious threats, in practice, there is only actually a very limited ways of behaviors that you can inflict damage on a company. You either yeah, try to destroy the property, you try to extract information, um, or you try to you know, make somebody else do something that they're not supposed to do by phishing. Um, so there is only a limited set of um, actions, malicious actors um, can uh, aim towards towards uh, towards the attack, and so the um, that that and that's the key insight. So why we can detect unknown? Well, because even though maybe the way they try to achieve these things is novel, but the thing that they're trying to achieve is actually not not so different. It's, it's about scale. Um, so if you think about, uh, let's take a computer vision for example, to build like a good cat detector, you might probably need only you know, a few millions of samples of CAD images, and then you can build a pretty good CAD detector. Um, in cybersecurity, because the threat landscape is so much bigger, you need a lot more data. In fact, um, the scale that we're talking about, you know, every day we train and evaluate thousands of models on hundreds of millions of data points. So if you're operating at that scale, it's pretty much impossible to do it without a good partnership with a cloud infrastructure.